Today we're going to go over uh, back purge versus no back purge when you're doing a TIG root on pipe. Uh, we're going to put straight argon on the back purge when we do it. We're working with the low carbon steel. Um, our, um, our TIG wire is going to be ER70S-2, 16th of, a, of an inch. Uh, when people practice pipe, a lot of times they don't actually put the back purge on because it's, it's quite a process to do that. What we're going to do here is build a little uh, fixture to put the pipe in and then we'll put the back purge on that way. And then we'll take the two pipes, we'll do one without, one with, and we'll compare the, uh, the root penetration as far as cleanliness, uh, concavity. A lot of times you'll get some suck back if you don't have a back purge. So what we're going to do is go out in the lab, do one of each, do a little comparison, and see if there's a big difference. This is the uh, contraption we just made to do a uh, inside purge on the pipe on this TIG weld we're about to do. All we did was cut out two circles. We welded a piece of uh, thread all to the one side right there. Put a hole above it. That's to let the purge go out. And in the front here, we poked a hole in it so the thread all can go through so we can screw it down. And we threaded a hole to put that nipple on hook up to the argon just a quick little way to get a purge in the inside of that pipe so we'll go out in the lab and we'll start with a uh, a pipe with no purge then we'll do one with the purge then we'll compare the two we're about to start our first uh, root pass here just put four tacks on this pipe from uh, breaking apart uh, this is going to be without a pack purge so we'll get going here Back rope. Yep. device we just kind of fabbed up to kind of get a purge on the inside of the pipe. We're going to start this off at uh, 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour and then we're going to lower it down to uh, around 5 cubic feet per hour. We're going to weld this up, take a look at it and see if it looks any cleaner than the first uh, weld we just did without a purge.
right, this is the one that we did without the back purge and you can see it's not bad but when we compare it to the other one you'll see what I'm talking about it's got a little bit less uniformity and it, it, it didn't weld as good as the other one so now we'll look at the the face of the one we did with the back purge All right, this is the one that we did with the back purge you could definitely tell the difference when you were welding it and you can see it's just maybe just a little more uniform we had to clean them anyways but it was it was more of a clean weld we didn't have to do as much cleaning on this one so now we'll take a look at the what really matters and that's the inside of the root and we'll start with the one that we didn't do the back purge with Alright, this is the inside of the pipe that we had no purge on. And you can see it's got concavity, all kinds of contaminants, just dirty in general. It's probably a sixteenth of an inch concavity. And that's what happens, you get sucked back when you don't have a purge. It's good penetration, it's just dirty and contaminated. So now we'll take a look at uh, the pipe that we had the back purge on. This is the pipe that we had the purge on, and you can see it's flat, it's clean, there's not all that crust. We did have one spot that was, that must have had some cutting fluid on it or something, because it did get contaminated, but it was like a greasy contamination. You can see the penetration looks real nice. That's a spot right there where it's all discolored, that's where we had the cutting fluid. Definite full penetration weld. This is why you take weld roots on pipe. It's nice and clean. But you can definitely see a huge difference between the two. That's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld.